Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is going to be taken from the book of James, chapter number 1. It's going to be verses 2 through 4. Scripture says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let have patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. My friends, the past couple of days we've been looking in the book of First Peter, about trials and Peter gives us a lot of of good uh, info about trials and a lot of things to help us out we looked at chapter one of the book of first Peter in verses six and seven and we saw where where trials only come for a season if they're needed and how our trials our trials will 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 help us as as we go through our day-to-day living because the trial of our faith, according to verse 7, is much more precious than that of gold. Our trials, the trials of our faith, is much more precious than gold. That's why in verse number 6 of First Peter chapter 1, he says we need to greatly rejoice. And now we back up here to the book of James in chapter number 1. In verse number 2, he says to count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. And again, the Greek word used for temptations here also has to do with trials trials and temptations are two different things and right now we're looking at trials and somewhat sometime we'll discuss temptations and we'll see what the difference between the two of them is but for today we need to count it all joy when we fall into temptations why is that why should we count something because let's face it trials hurt trials are difficult trials are are I don't count trials as fun. Maybe somebody out there does, and if you're the one that counts it as fun, drop me a message here and let me know. and Tell me why you think trials is fun. But I'm not one of them. Trials is painful. But James tells us that we need to count it all joy. Why? He answers that in verse 3. Knowing this, that in in verse 4, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Another word we can put in there is endurance, steadfastness. I really like that one, steadfastness. Because our faith needs to be steadfast. Our faith, faith, (coughs) excuse me, our faith needs to be in the Lord Jesus and it needs to be unmovable. It needs to be steadfast. And he says here in verse 3, knowing this, that the trying of our faith worketh patience. Worketh means it puts it into action. Our trials put our faith into action. And when you exercise your body, that's where you start building muscle and losing fat. Maybe I need to start doing that myself. Anyway, anyway, we need to put our faith into action if we expect our faith to grow. And if, just like in our bodies, if we expect our muscles to grow, we need to put them into action. Anything we don't use, anything that's stagnant will eventually not be able to use and therefore that's why we need to make sure that faith of all things gets put into action trying of our faith work is patience in verse number four and this is the good part here but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing i like that word perfect in there we see it twice if we allow temptation, if we allow the trials in our lives to work in us and we put our faith in action so that we, we grow in our trials, so that our faith becomes stronger and stronger and stronger and we become more unmovable and more steadfast, 
<clears throat> in our faith in God, then we will become perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Perfect and entire. I don't want to be imperfect. I don't want to be incomplete. I want to have everything that God wants me to have. I want to be perfect and entire, not wanting a thing. Why? Because my faith is on God, and he is the one that's providing my needs. And because my faith is strong, I know that I can trust him for those needs. So friends, if you need a reason to rejoice and to count it all joy when we fall into trials, this is it right here. That pit, But let patience have her perfect work, that she may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Friends, do you desire that today? Is that your desire? When we go through times of trial, all of us needs a little bit of help understanding why. That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. But for right now, do you desire to have everything that God wants you to have? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.